Hey, welcome everyone. I'm sure many of you have thought that geometry is a very difficult course to understand. This will be the first of a series of videos that I will be uploading to this channel and I hope you enjoy it. So let's learn together plain or including geometry from scratch. As we all know, most of the challenge in math is the language. So the purpose of this video is to help you overcome that challenge. For example, consider the following two terms, undefined terms and defined terms. In this video, I will help you learn these two terms and many other terms. You will find questions after each term is mentioned to help you keep track of your understanding. The answer to each question will be given towards the end of each slide, and I will also give you some information about myself through a brief introduction. Let's start with undefined terms. And the first undefined term that I'm going to introduce in this video is a point. And next I'm gonna give you a diagram of a point. So we have a visual and a point uh, can represent a location and it has no size or thickness. And the question I'm gonna ask you here is, how would you name the point on this diagram? And I will come back and answer each one of the questions that I'm going to ask you towards the end of the video. So how would you name this point? Okay, let's continue on to the next undefined term. And that term is a line. And here again is a description, a graphical description of a line. And a line has infinite length, meaning it goes in opposite directions nonstop. It also has an infinite number of points. And I'm gonna ask you two questions here. One is, in how many ways can we name this line? And two, give the different names for this line. So let's go on to the next and last undefined term. And that term is a plane. A plane, and let me give you a diagram here. So we have a visual and uh, a plane is a flat surface. And uh, this, flat surface extends infinitely in all directions. Again, um, it goes on nonstop. And a plane also must contain at least three points. And these points cannot be on the same line. So the question here is, why can these three points not be on the same line? So let me uh, help you uh, get a little bit more of understanding here. So let's look at the following diagram. Here you'll see a, uh, a plane, a line on the plane, and a line intersecting the plane at one point. So the question here is, I want you to give me one way in which we are not allowed to name this plane. So now let's go back and answer each question, starting with point uh, question on, on points. And how would you name this point? You'll name it point A. And on the line, we can name this line in three ways. And those ways are line AB, line AC, and line BC. Okay, next is the question on uh, plane. And the answer for this one is, if the points are on the same line, then these points are collinear, which is a term I have not introduced. So they do not form a line, okay, but I'll explain collinear points on another video. The last question, uh, the answer is one way in which you cannot name this plane is uh, plane D, G, F. Why? Look at the diagram. Points D, G, and F are on the same line. So that's actually a line. So those points are collinear, okay? Now on this slide, I'm going to uh, introduce myself uh, my name is Willie Garcia, and I am a high school mathematics teacher in the state of Texas in the United States. And now that you have watched uh, this video, please give me a thumbs up if you know the video helped you in some way, or down if it did not help you in any way. Also, in the comments, feel free to ask any question or questions about what was covered or not covered in the video. It is my goal to reach out as many students as possible I can so I can help them overcome this geometry challenge. 
to accomplish this, I ask that you uh, please subscribe so that this channel grows and attracts as many students as possible. And thank you for watching. Bye-bye.